Today we're going to run you through the MEDS damper kit. This is what you will actually receive as the order. It's a boxed item with the part number, etc. there. And these are the components that are actually within the box. We've been making this now for most probably 15, 20 years. The reason being the original dampers, the rubber perishes on them and they tend to fall apart. Obviously, if you can eliminate or get rid of a lot of the vibrations, the main bearings will last longer and the engine will run smoother. The actual damper locates on the pulley just so to centralize it. These we actually torque up to 20 foot pounds and then it's balanced on the crankshaft balancer. This is the lock plate. So once you get the damper, you will have it with the pulley attached to it, with the bolts in, torqued up to 20 foot pounds. So what you do, put the crankshaft pulley assembly onto the crankshaft, the bolt put in, torque up. You'll notice that we've made the thread slightly longer than the standard one. So please always check that the bolt doesn't bottom out in the bottom of the thread of the crankshaft. Obviously some of the threads in the cranks are threaded deeper than the others. So just as a precaution, make sure that it locks out on the pulley and doesn't bottom out in the bottom of the thread of the crankshaft. Now, next thing to do, take the four screws out of the two halves, like so. One thing you must be aware of is once you do take it apart, i.e. take these screws out to put the plate on, make sure that you put a little paint mark on the center relative to the outside so you get it back on in the correct position because obviously these are balanced as a unit and if they're taken apart and knocked out 180 degrees it could throw the balance out so just put a paint mark on the two halves and then this is the trick part this actually locates on the hexagon of the bolt like so now we suggest a dab of loctite on the thread and torque them back up to 20 foot pounds. Doing that, the bolt can never ever come loose because the plate's locking it in and the screws should not come out because you've locked tighted them in place. Therefore, the damper will never ever fall off as it used to do on the original pulleys from Rover with the short thread on the bolt. Now here are the two alternative pulleys these obviously are for engine management with an ECU and dependent on where the ECU dictates the tooth is to be removed, you will need to remove the tooth because we don't cut the tooth out prior to shipping it out. We leave that up to the customer. This one has the teeth going back towards the timing cover and this one has the teeth going away from the centre line of the crankshaft. These two pulleys for the ECU management type setup have still got the actual location diameter in the centre. So the damper still fits on both of those pulleys like so. This one will fit directly on to your standard Rover metal tin cover if you try and fit this one to our belt drive or our aluminium chain drive, it won't fit because the teeth will hit the casing. Now this one comes into play. Because the teeth are now not on this side of the pulley, they're on this side and going outwards, everything fits. Now if you do want to run the timing cover, or the belt drive, but you don't want to use management, this pulley, which is the first one we showed you, is a direct fit, straight on, no problem. That will fit on with the damper, and there you go. So that's on the timing cover, and that is on the belt drive.
And if you've got any more questions, don't hesitate, give us a call, we're here to help.